it's Susan here for Komori no Hime Cosplay, and today we're going to be making the dress for the Fantasy AU Suyu costume from Boku no Hero Academia. This dress is a bit different from the other dresses we've made on this channel so far, in that it closes in the front, so there's a zipper along the bodice and skirt area here. So we're going to start by cutting our bodice pieces out, and then we're going to sew them together along the side seams, so we've got our center back, side back, side front, front piece, and then we've got the other side back, side front, and front piece. So we're just going to sew them together along the side seams so it looks something like this. Next we're going to set the bodice piece aside and move on to the skirt portion. So the pattern calls for cutting four of the skirt panels out. And Suyu's skirt is red and white stripe. I looked all over my local Joann's and I could not find any red and white stripe fabric. It seems like it mostly comes out around Christmas time. So I took some red linen and sewed white stripes onto it. I just used some lace because I have a whole ton of it that I had gotten, but you could use bias tape or ribbon or you might be lucky enough to find a red and white striped fabric and then you don't have to worry about this step. Putting right sides together, sew the skirt panels together along the side seams. Putting right sides together, we're going to gather the skirt panels and sew them to the bottom of the bodice. Sew an invisible zipper into the front of the dress, and also sew the skirt front pieces together. Next, we're going to make the bodice lining the same way that we made the bodice itself. The pattern calls for interfacing the lining. I decided not to do this since the fabric I'm using for the outside of the bodice has a bit of stretch to it. Putting right sides together, sew the bodice lining to the bodice and we're going to sew it along the edge there. We're going to fold over the lining and leave it open so we can turn it right side out later on, back around the armhole. Again, leaving the top open, along the back, along the other armhole, and again along the front of the bodice. One thing I forgot to mention is you're going to want to fold over the edges near the zipper as well and turn the zipper words as you can see so that the edge of the lining isn't going to get caught on the zipper teeth. Turn the bodice right side out through the straps. Now we're going to whoop, take the ends of the straps and the black fabric. We're going to sew those two pieces together, not touching the green fabric. Fold under the raw edges and hand sew the lining into place. So we're going to hand sew it into place along the edge of the zipper and along the bottom there so that the raw edge of the red skirt is sandwiched in between the lining and the outside of the bodice. And back up the other zipper. We're also going to hand sew closed the openings on the sleeves, or straps rather. I also hand sewed on some more of the floral mesh that I used for the apron and sewed it onto either side of the front of the bodice. To make the ruffle on the bottom of the skirt, we're going to start by cutting a whole bunch of rectangles of white fabric. Then we're going to sew them together so that they essentially become one giant loop. Next, fold the rectangle in half and sew it together along the top using a zigzag stitch to help keep the edges from fraying and to hold the two sides together. Then we're going to gather the rectangle and sew it onto the bottom of the skirt to create the ruffle. The pattern directions called for making a rosette trim along the top of the bodice and I thought it was really cute so I decided to go ahead and do that. So I'm using some green satin ribbon so that it matches so use design a bit more. This isn't completely accurate to design, but I just wanted to try a new technique. So that's why I'm doing this. 
So started by box pleating some green satin ribbon and machine sewed it into place. Now to create the rosette design, we're going to hand sew and we're going to sew from the back. Oop. The ribbon that I found wasn't exactly the same size as the ribbon the pattern called for, but I still think it looks pretty cute. So now that we've come up from that side, we're going to fold the ribbon over a little bit and stitch down on the other side. so that it pulls down into the center and then do another stitch through to really hold it into place and then whoop, sorry for the rustling um, just to make it even more extra than this costume already is we're adding some fake pearls and just hand sewing that on and then whoop, sewing through again and we'll do one more loop around to really secure that pearl on there and we're just going to keep doing that down along the line so that it ends up looking like this. And the last step to add the lacing to the front of the dress is to sew some hooks on either side of the trim and then just tied a ribbon through it. And with that, Suyu's dress is done. For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.